Hey folks, this is uh, Movie Mode Rock McDonald here, aka Jared. And um, I like to talk about this whole Joe Rogan fiasco. And um, I don't know the full details, to be honest. But from what I understand, uh, Joe Rogan basically said, from, from what i gotten, is that Joe Rogan. Basically said, he's um, anti-vax mandate. Well, if I understand, Joe Rogan, people are saying Joe Rogan is um, spreading uh, COVID mis misinformation. And I think a lot of people are saying he's anti-vax. Which, from what I understand, I think Joe Rogan said he's um, anti-mandates. Um, and I watched a clip <clears throat> on Twitter that where he called out that vaccine cultists saying they're acting like they're like these self righteous health people, which what you said he made a career of being health, made a whole lifestyle of being healthy, and um, he said, "Well, you're not." He 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 was basically saying, "Look, you want to preach to me by being healthy." Really, why you guys are not taking care of yourself at all, and you're relying on a on a vaccine to to make you feel better. <clears throat> That's basically what he said. That's from the clip I saw of Joe Rogan. I think he was talking to a, a doctor, I believe. Um, so I'm not quite sure. Now, and a lot of these uh artists, some of these artists, there's some people. They're getting their on their music taken off of Spotify. Um, Me Young, I think his music or his his music in the process and getting taken off. Joni Mitchell and some others. I've seen some hilarious memes of of people posting like fictional music artists saying they're going to take their um, music off of Spotify. And I heard like one like this meme that. It's a joke. I think it was. A, it has to be a joke saying that um, Nickelback will put more music on there if Joe Rogan to protest 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 Joe Rogan. I think that's a joke because um, Nickelback is not a very well loved band. To be honest, they're known for being the uh, another butt rock band. <clears throat> type of people. And my thoughts on this is people it's these these artists who are has beens who are or who are never worse. Like Joni Mitchell. Like Joni Mitchell is not a big artist. She's not she's not like she's not up there with um with the other greats, okay. Only a small niche of people know who Joni Mitchell is. Um, I'm like, like, you know, people are like, who's Johnny Mitchell? I'm like, yeah, just, and also young people, also people, uh, now you Young, he's a lot more popular than Johnny Mitchell, but people are like, who? Who's New Young? And the other, the other boomers like, what's Spotify? See, it's just a bunch of has-beens and never trying to trying to be relevant. Um, Elvira, um, jumped on the bandwagon. I'm like, Elvira, no disrespect to her, but she's a has-been. She's, I don't think she, she is relevant, relevant as she used to be. I think back in the, I think back in the 90s and 2000s, she, um, she was a lot more popular now, but she's not as popular as she used to be, okay? She's still popular, but not on that level anymore. Um, she still has some relevance, but not as much as Joe Rogan, okay? Let's be honest. And the reason why they want to cancel Joe Rogan is because they're jealous that, he, they're, that he's more relevant and more popular than they are. And that's, that's basically what it is. They're more... Um, they're just, they're just jealous. 
Young and Joanne Mitchell and Elvira are a lot are just jealous that Joe Rogan is more uh, relevant than they are. My dog's whining. He wants to go outside even though he just bounced outside just a few minutes ago. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make that. I'm gonna run him out as soon as I finish this video. Um. It's just that these artists, they just want Joe Rogan canceled because they're just jealous. And fortunately, there's um artists, there's oh, not artists, but celebrities start supporting Joe Rogan, like Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock. I think Jamie Kennedy is um. Is all in defense of Joe Rogan. Uh, I was surprised Dwayne Johnson since he uh, supported um, um, Joe Biden for president. But I was you, you thinking that he you think a big A list like celebrity like Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock, be against Joe Rogan? But no, no. <clears throat> and uh, Kevin Sorbo is supporting of. In support of Joe Rogan, so yeah, it's just they're just jealous that Joe Rogan is more popular than they are, and and I appreciate that um that Spotify is not bending the knee; they're not removing Joe Rogan just to please the woke uh mob, unlike Twitter, who removed Donald Trump from their platform. Even though Donald Trump was bringing in people to the website, because Twitter's dumb, because Twitter's dead violence. I'm no, don't worry. This is not a political video. Which Trump did not incite violence. Okay, same mean tweets. It's not the same as inciting violence. And going, yeah, I was going a little political for you guys for a second. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to go full political, but just saying how dumb Twitter was when they removed Donald Trump, even though Donald Trump was bringing them, was bringing them people into the platform. Like it's, yeah, that, that Spotify is not going to do that because Spotify is Joe Rogan is is bringing in the dough for Spotify is making money off of Spotify. Spotify is, is benefiting from money from this. Hmm. Because they're not gonna give get rid of their most most listened guy on the platform because it's dumb. They did, and I'm glad they're not bending the knee. Because the reason why you should never bend the knee to the woke mob because it's because it's never good enough. Because they'll never be happy and they'll never be pleased. That's the reason why because. Because, um, like, people who bend the knees of the woke mob, like, um, going on off tangent right here, saying, well, I just don't want people to think I'm racist. I just don't want them to think I'm sexist. Well, guess what? You bend to them, and guess what? They still think you're racist, and they still think you're sexist. So, the reason why you should never bend to the mob, because you can't, you cannot make them happy. You cannot please them. Because they'll always be miserable people. And kudos to uh, Spotify for not doing that. Now, I don't use Spotify for podcasts. Um, I use them mainly for YouTube. Um, I, just, I use Spotify just to listen to music. And um, David Draymond came out in defense of... David Draymond is also another one. David Draymond came out in defense of Joe, of Joe Rogan. And I don't think he was on their side. I was just saying, hey, we need to stop this division in music and stop this division. And that's all I got to say. That was my uh, two cents of the issue. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to rate, subscribe. And see you guys later. Bye.